Hey guys, it's Chloe. Unfortunately, it is just me today. I'm sorry I don't have an entertaining Clara in the background. She's at a dentist appointment and my mom is obviously with her, so you just get me. Also, ignore this look. I just got back from LA late last night, so didn't have time to do my hair. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Chloe Does It. You guys left some really awesome questions, so I'm excited to answer them. And without further ado, let's get to Chloe Does It response video number two. <laughs> Curtis Panda Smith. What have you enjoyed most so far? The zoo, the sleepover, or the cookie dough place? Hmm, they were all pretty good, but I liked each of them because the cookie dough place was really yummy. The zoo, I haven't really done anything like that. I fed kangaroos in Australia, which was really exciting, but I've never fed an elephant or a giraffe, so that was really fun. And the sleepover with Kendall, it was really, really fun as well. So, I don't know. I think, I think, I can't choose. I loved it all. It was all so fun. Just me. Summer said, are you coming back to Dance Moms? I am coming back to Dance Moms and yeah, it's gonna be a really good season. Danielle Mabala? She said, hey Chloe, I'm Danielle and I was wondering what books are you currently obsessing over and why? I'm currently reading the Snow Like Ashes series, which is really good. I really like it. I'm on the third book. It's the final book in the series. I really, really loved the first and second book. I'm not sure how I'm feeling about the third book so far, but I have to finish. I am not one to quit so I'm just gonna finish and see how I feel about it so yeah that's what I'm currently reading I know you said obsessing over but I'm kind of obsessing over it Rachel Stephenson said hey Chloe if you were to open your own business what would it be and why the most fitting for me would be a dance studio because I am a dancer <laughs> and I really love teaching so I think that would be one of my top options for my first options but I've never really thought about opening my own business so it's kind of scary but fun Ackley Curlew What's one thing you, your mom, and your sister all love about each other? I don't think I could pick one thing that I love about those two in the most undorky way. My mom is my best friend, as is my sister. So I love a lot of things about them. There's not just one thing that we all love about each other. They're both incredibly kind, strong women that I know. So they're pretty awesome in a lot of ways. Marion Sheen asked, what is the one thing that annoys you most? People who walk slow, either in school or in airports. I don't obviously go to school anymore, but I remember I would always walk down the hallways and people who'd walk slow would just really get on my nerves a little bit because I was trying to get to class and even though my school wasn't huge at all, just like getting to class on time and if I had to like turn something in and talk to the teacher before the bell rang, then it was kind of stressful and people will walk slow but then get mad at you whenever you try to like go past them. That really gets on my nerves. I have a lot to be grateful for so I try not to be annoyed at all and just try to stay calm and patient. I guess that's all you can do. Carly Natel asks, what was the coolest part of this experience? Of Chloe Does It, I'd say just everything I've gotten to do so far has been really, really fun and entertaining and things I've never done before. But I think getting to collab with you guys has been really awesome because it's not just me putting videos out there that I think you'll like. It's you guys telling me what you want to see and then me doing it, which has been a lot of fun. I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as I am. Brianna Florheim asked, hi, I am Brianna. What inspired you to start dancing? I was too two years old when I started dancing, so nothing really inspired me. I kind of just started taking classes because I was drawing a bunch of things up. I tried soccer, I tried playing piano, I did softball, I did basketball, I did a lot of things. So dance is just another one of those things. But I think what really inspired me to continue dancing was just watching the older girls in the studio that I was at dance. I just remember always wanting to be like them and I was like, oh, I can't wait to be at that level and doing those kinds of group dances and solos. I was just really excited for that. And when I was about eight, it really clicked for me, I was doing a solo and I had worked so hard all summer. I worked on my turns, I was working on my flexibility. I just, I was really, really involved with dance. Everything just kind of clicked for me. Walks on Fires asked, if you would have to eat any type of dough in the store for the rest of your life, which one would you choose? Love you, Chloe. Love you too. I really loved Gimme S'mores. I loved that one. I mean, obviously the classic chocolate chip cookie dough was really good. So I'd say either one of those two or the Dunkadoo was really good. Those were like my three favorites. So I'd say one of those. Probably the Gimme S'mores is my absolute favorite, but to eat for the rest of my life, that's a lot of pressure. I don't know. I think I'd have to think about that one. Hannah Joan 18 said, do you prefer amusement parks or water parks? I love roller coasters so much, so I think amusement parks, but water parks are still pretty fun. I like water rides and stuff, but the one by my house isn't all that exciting. I've been to a lot of big amusement parks, I think, and I love roller coasters so much, so definitely amusement park. And now it's time for the comment of the week. 
week. Juliet Watson said, super enjoying this little series. Also, I am so jealous of everyone living in New York because they have that amazing little shop near them. I'm guessing you're talking about cookie dough place, but you can order online. So you should go order online if you want that. So that is it for this week. I love hearing from you guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode and keep those comments and questions rolling in so I can answer next week. But I will see you then. I love you all. Bye.